Hello and welcome to our kids. So we have learned about the functions in the previous sessions, right? And we have seen how we can create our own functions, right? And we have seen like uh, there are some inbuilt functions like print and all, etc. Right? Now uh, in this session, what we are going to do is we are going to look at recursive function, right? So there is there is actually uh, a need to have for this function. That is, in case if you want to create a repeated loop of uh, the numbers then you can use that function right we're going to see some use cases in this session so I'll see you in the session then thank you Welcome back to ITNs. So in this session, we are going to continue our discussion with our uh, recursive function, right? So what is recursion? Recursion is the process of defining something in terms of itself. And we have seen in the earlier sessions about on functions where we were able to call other functions, right? Let's uh, refresh our memory by writing a small code. So we'll put as def well, uh, that is the name of the function. So we are defining uh, and a function and the function name is well and then we are going to give the argument name and then we are going to end with uh, colon and then enter print hello and welcome and then we are going to give name and I hit enter enter right. Now I'm going to call the function, right? We have already defined this function, and here is the argument, and we have write, written this, uh, the another function um, that is to print hello and welcome uh, with the name of the function, right? So let's see. I mean, what happens? We are going to call the function, and we are going to give the name as pro itns, all right? And we are going to end with the quotes and close brackets and I hit enter so we got the output as hello and welcome pro ITNs right that is what we were looking for isn't it so in Python we know that a function can call other functions right it is even possible for a function to call itself and these type of constructs are termed as recursive functions right a practical example would be an object which is placed in between two sets of mirrors and the, the object will be reflected recursively and you will see infinite images of the object on the mirror isn't it All right now let's uh, look at another example of a recursive function uh, that would be to find the factorial of an integer right so factorial of a number is a product of integers from one to that given number right for example now if if I want to have a factorial of number six right so I would say six into five into four into three into two into one right now this would be the factorial of number six so the output will be 720 right now what we are going to do is we are going to write a small code by which we can get a factorial of a given number right so let's uh, start writing a small code on this yeah so we'll put as diff factorial uh, short of uh, factorial we are going to put as fact and then we're going to uh, give the argument uh, sorry num and then colon enter yeah if uh, num is less than zero then return please enter a positive integer right 
I'll explain you in a moment. Uh, let's complete writing this code and then I'll explain you what's happening with this code. Yeah. If num equal equals one colon return one. Alright. Else x equals to num into fat uh, sorry fat num minus 1 okay there was a typo here num minus 1 right and then um, we have to give us all right I missed one thing let me copy this again and uh, let me paste here again and what I need to do is all right now what we need to uh, do is we have to call this right so we hit this one enter and we got 720 right or if you want to try with a different number we can do that and we'll get 120 right now what is happening in this stage right we have defined this function uh, the name of the function is fact uh, and we are the name of the argument is num now if num is equals to uh, is less than 0 then we are returning that it should be a positive integer because we want to create a factorial of a uh, only for the positive integers right and if uh, the num is equals to 1 then you have to return the value as 1 else it will continue with that number whatever we are going to define and whatever we are going to assign for this argument and it will continue and it will minus one every time that loop will go on till it reaches the value as one all right so what is happening out here when we actually entered the uh, fact six so what was happening is six into six into five right then what was happening was again it was going to uh, continue with this loop uh, it is uh, not equals to 1 so it will come here and then it will continue with into 4 right and then it will all continue till it reaches 1 once it reaches 1 then it will exit out of this loop so that is that is your exit parameter right and then it will continue and it will give the value as 720 720 all right yeah so I'll just wipe this out yeah so I mean this is for how it works so our recursion ends when the number reduces to 1 and this is actually called as base condition all right this is your base condition right so every recursive function must have a base condition that stops the recursion or else the function calls itself infinitely right that's a very important point if you don't assign a base function then the the function will call itself infinitely and then uh, the Py python interpreter limits the depth of recursion to help avoid infinite recursion resulting in stack overflows right so uh, by default the maximum depth of recursion is uh, 1000 right so if you want we can have a look on this one uh, how it works like uh, we will call a function recurs uh, and then yeah and then we are calling the same function again and then so when we call and then we call this one where we are not assigning any value yeah see what happens yeah so repeat it one zero two four times two two times and the maximum recursion depth exceeded yeah so it is actually thousand or one zero two four binary uh, value of thousand so that's where actually it ends and it actually throws out this error yeah all right um now um, i actually also wanted to show you uh, the the other part of uh, what are the benefits and uh, uh, 
disadvantages of uh, recursive function right so what are the advantage let's start with the advantages of recursion so the advantages of recursion are recursive functions make the code looks clean right it would actually look at this code i mean it look, makes the code look clean a complex task can be broken down into simpler sub problems using recursion yeah and a sequence generation is easier with recursion than using small nested iteration right that's that's those are the advantages of recursion now let's talk about the disadvantages of recursion right sometimes the logic behind recursion is hard to follow through yeah it becomes a bit difficult to understand yeah um, and recursive functions calls are expensive inefficient as they take up lot of memory and time yeah so that is one of the uh, disadvantage and also because the functions are hard to debug we will not i mean we can do it but it will be a bit hard to debug uh, the out, output of that yeah yes great so the, those were the final things about uh, recursive functions right i hope you guys were able to follow along uh, quite uh, nicely and um, that's all for this session for now and i hope you uh, you like this video if so do click on the like icon and do please click on the subscribe icon all right great until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you